G'day everyone, Paul Stoner, CEO of Bigger Than Scott, and I'm here today with Matthew Marshall from the Asmodale office, Jack who, uh, and we're doing your monthly wrap. That's it, that's it. It's been a great month, um, yeah. and a great start to the year with the quarter um, just past us. And um, we've had some exciting sales and some um, some big results. Yeah, so um, number of sales in the areas have been, uh, this first quarter if you like, it's been it's really all, busy. It's always a little bit quieter at the start of the year than it is at the end of the year in our area. So we're expecting a big um, a big finish to the end of the year. Yeah. But the first, um, the first uh, quarter of the year is normally a little bit sleepy with Easter, school holidays, with January school holidays. Kids don't go back till February, so big family area. So a lot of people don't uh, warm up until uh, until later in the year. In yeah. Area. Yeah. 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 Uh, days on market? Up, days on down. market's very low. Yep. So we're talking sort of 20 odd days or so. Yep. Um, most of the properties that are taking the longest to sell at the moment are the auctions. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the private sales are ticking over really quickly. And the auctions only because they're going through to the auction date. Exactly. And why yep. wouldn't you in this market with such a great results? It's um, pretty, pretty hot. Happening all around town. Interest rates are low. Um, standout sales? Standout sales. We've had a sale result um, just, uh, just this month that we sold in March last year for early sixes and we've uh, managed to get um, get that one sold, resold again for the owners. Yep. And um, with uh, with some minor renovations done to the home, yep. we've um, we've achieved um, just under $100,000 more than what we did in March last year. Wow. Yeah, terrific result. It's not result. bad, is it? Fantastic so, so that's result. over, um, what, 15% growth yep. in a year? Yep, so what we're finding in Aspendale is the average um, sort of price increase last year was about ten percent for the area. Yep. Uh, so, um, so this result was a um, was a pretty um, pretty good standout result. Okay. So, um, am I safe to say that's where the demand is in that price range at the moment? The demand at the moment is really really interesting, Paul, because most of the sales that we're um, that we're seeing the median price in Aspendale at the moment is about seven hundred and forty thousand dollars. So yep. that that seems to be the the juicy spot. That's where most of the sales are happening. Yep. But a big demand for houses at the top end. So yeah. anywhere between eight hundred and nine hundred and fifty thousand yeah. seems to be a really hot spot for Aspendale at the moment. And I think um, some of the reason for that is a lot of the buyers are coming out of the inner city suburbs. Yeah. Uh, they're hitting the inner bayside suburbs and they just can't afford it. The yeah. uh, the prices are too hot there, and the natural flow down to Aspendale has been extraordinary to watch it. And yeah. so people with a million dollars to spend. Uh, skipping all the inner Bayside suburbs and coming straight into Aspendale and spending the big bucks yeah. in Aspendale and renovating, yeah. spending a lot of money on renovations. Well, so I live Bayside, yeah, of course we it. love Bayside. <laughs> um, and so I, I can see it in talking to the younger kids, they're, they're going down there and that they're coming back or they want to come mm. back at some stage, they have their families, That's it's it. the beautiful beaches. But you've got two markets. I do. So you've got um, beach side of highway yes. and the other side of the highway. Yes, we do. Uh, beach side of highway, hot? Amazing, amazingly yeah. hot. I mean, we're seeing results that don't make sense today. In 10 years time, of course, we look back and yeah. say, well, you know, it was cheap back then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, results that have been extraordinary, 200, dollars uh, over the reserve. Yeah. There was one sale in Aspinall last year, actually achieved over $500,000 above the reserve price. Yeah. Yeah. And that was for a property that ran from the highway all the way down to the beach. Expecting somewhere around two and a quarter million and sold for just under three. Yeah. So, so if you're on that beach side of the highway, be confident there's plenty of buyers at the moment. Absolutely. Um, and then, you know, then it's in your high demand on the other side in the price ranges. Of course it is. People are moving down. Uh, so moving forward, mm -hmm. how, how are stock levels and demand for May? I think stock levels are a, a, a little bit low at the moment, which is great for the vendors. So if you're yeah. thinking about coming to the market and you're thinking, should I sell now or should I wait till spring, now's the perfect time to get your home on the market. The mm. buyer activity is extraordinary. There's a lot of buyers in the market, yeah. but the homes are starting to thin out. Yep. Uh, on the ground. So yep. people traditionally think sometimes winter's not a great time to sell, but we still see a great deal of buyer activity yep. and lower stock volumes. Yep. So prices generally we achieve in winter can be a little bit higher sometimes in yep. spring. And for those of you that watch the group roundup that I'll do, mm -hmm. uh, May is our biggest selling month of mm, the year, it is. which is pretty amazing. It's yeah. not it's not spring, it's, it is it is May. So, mm. And that's usually the hangover from Easter yeah. and Anzac Day and everything, and everyone is wanting to transact. Of course. Property management for the investors watching? Property management at the moment is, uh, is, is red hot. So our rental properties are moving very quickly. I think we've got two vacant properties as I sit here today, yeah. um, ready to go. And, um, and when I say vacant, they're available. Tenants are still waiting to move out of that one. Yeah. We've got queues of tenants waiting to get in. So yeah. property management is red hot. So if you're yeah. sitting back thinking about buying an investment property, um, target our little area between Morty Alec and Chelsea, Bomb Beach, Carrum, 
because those are the areas that are really red hot. For What's the highest management. demand, two bedroom apartments or is it anything? Um, I think really it's family homes at the moment. Yep. That's what we can't get enough of. So we can't get enough of the four bedroom, three four bedroom family homes in good order. Yep. Um, they're the ones that the tenants we're finding are relocating to the area or, or perhaps relocating from overseas. Yep. Um, now that the, uh, the dollar seems to be a little bit better overseas, people are starting to come back from the UK. Um, and, um, and they want to rent good family homes, be in the area for two to three years before they then go and invest their money and buy. Yep. Um, and uh, with Carlton about to knock off the pies tonight, and uh, yeah. <laughs> be I'll be at the MCG tonight, Paul. And I can well. Here's, here's a uh, here's a here's a uh, maybe uh, in the uh, next market uh, wrap. Exactly, maybe in the next market wrap. But Mick Moldhouse will have a, uh, a pretty sad look on his face tonight after tonight's go. I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> so um, look, that's uh, the market wrap for Aspendale this month. Uh, look forward to seeing you next month. That's great. See you, everyone.